What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we are continuing my unique weapon guide series with one of the most powerful rifles in the game. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get a unique weapon called the Last Minute, and this super powerful weapon is a Goss Rifle, which returns from Fallout 3 and New Vegas, but this time it looks completely different, and it doesn't actually knock people down. That was a cool effect in the previous games, we don't really have it with this version of the gun. However, it's arguably even more powerful than it was before, and this particular Gauss rifle has an interesting modifier on it. Real quick, I will be streaming Fallout 4 on my Twitch channel tonight, so check the description for more info if you are interested. The last minute is located at a vendor at the castle, which is a location on the very eastern shore of the map. It's pretty much due east of Diamond City, and it's sold by a vendor named Ronnie Shaw, who's an old school Minutemen person, and you meet her by doing the Old Guns quest, and you actually have to complete the Old Guns quest in order to even buy this weapon. And Old Guns is the fifth Minutemen quest available, and it's part of their side quest chain, and it can be done before you are faction locked. So for example, before you, you know, go beyond the point of no return, you can do this quest. As you guys know, you can do a lot of faction quests before you actually have to choose, and this is one of them, so make sure and do this before you get faction locked. Once you're there, if you have trouble finding Ronnie Shaw, she might be in the armory area, which is a place that you unlocked when you did the Old Guns quest. She might be hanging out in there instead of out in the open. And once you get there, you know, this was around 3,000 caps for me, a little over 3,000 caps, but I have a completely full charisma character with all of Cap Collector and plenty of magazines to reduce prices with vendors. So, you know, this may be a lot more expensive for you depending on what kind of character you're running, but the minimum is around 3,000 caps and it can just go up from there. As you can tell, the last minute has incredible damage, but that seems to be the case across all Gauss rifles in this game. However, I also do have riflemen so that's why you're seeing over 400 damage which seems ridiculous this will be a lot lower if you do not have riflemen of course my rifleman doubles it since i've got maxed out with that perk and so what we're dealing with here is also a legendary modifier and it's 50 percent more limb damage with the crippling modifier and so if you think about this you're already dealing at least in my case 400 something damage and then you add another 50 percent onto that that is quite a lot of damage, and I couldn't really tell you guys if that 50% is applied before or after Rifleman. If it is applied after Rifleman, this is incredibly good, but I don't know. I didn't notice a huge difference between the damage I was dealing to just the torso area or the limbs. I tried to target both of them in my gameplays here just to show you guys a comparison between the two. In terms of modding, the last minute already comes with a lot of the best in slot mods for this weapon. So a lot of the best Gauss rifle mods are already on it. However, the one thing I would look at is the stock. You can replace the stock that it comes with with the recoil compensating stock. That's just a little bit better. And then you might wanna look at the sight because the sight it comes with is a little funky. It's a night vision scope. And I haven't been a big fan of the, you know, like long range scopes in this game because they reduce, you know, kind of the sensitivity when you're in the scope. So I replaced mine with a Gauss reflex sight and I kind of enjoyed the run and gun uh, feeling that it gave the gun. But of course, that's completely up to you. And if you do want to do some of these higher level mods, you'll need pretty high gun nut, a pretty high rank of gun nut, and then science as well, since this is an energy weapon. Some additional observations I had while using this weapon are that it is so incredibly powerful. It's so good that I wouldn't even use it on normal. I am showing you normal gameplay because I believe that most of you guys that are watching, you know, the average person that plays Fallout is probably just going to stay on the default, you know, level. However, going up to survival probably makes this weapon a little more realistic. You'll tell from this gameplay that I'm just mowing through enemies on normal and it just seems unfair. And I think when you're using a weapon that's like 400 damage like I have, you know, with riflemen, just boosting it completely all the way up like that, it's just not really fun to use it on normal modes because 
you just mow through all types of enemies. You mow through legendary enemies, you know, higher level enemies, skull enemies, even a behemoth you'll see towards the end of the video, I just take down with ease. You know, it's a little too easy, you know, to roll around with this Gauss rifle, but that's the case with all Gauss rifles. It's not just this one, and I don't think it's because of this legendary modifier. This isn't the best legendary modifier, to be honest. You know, if you find a two-shot Gauss rifle out in the world, that will outclass the last minute in less than a minute for lack of better words. I mean, it is that much more powerful to have a better modifier on this weapon. And so that brings me to my final point. Is it even worth it to go out and spend the caps on the last minute when you could just go find a Gauss rifle out in the world? I mean, there are some in, I believe there's a downed airplane and it's east of Sanctuary. I'm not showing you where it is on the map because that's not really the topic of this video, but that's free. You don't have to pay for that in caps and you don't get the legendary modifier on this weapon, which I think is pretty good. It's not, you know, the best legendary modifier, but it's on the, you know, better end of the possible modifiers that you can get for sure. Because, you know, 50% extra damage on any body part is pretty freaking good, especially when you're dealing as much damage as you are with the Gauss rifle. But again, if you're not swimming in caps, this is something really to consider. Is this really worth your caps? And Honestly, I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if you should go out of your way to go and get the last minute, just because after a certain level, you can find a Gauss rifle out in the world just waiting for you. So really kind of the important things that I noted while using this weapon is number one, Rifleman makes it incredible. It just makes it outclass every single other weapon. Even, you know, the Overseer's Guardian is outclassed by this weapon just because of how much sheer damage comes with a Gauss rifle by default. Also, the crippling modifier, like I said, is pretty good. It's okay, it's not the best. You can find better modifiers on a Gauss rifle if you're lucky off of a legendary enemy. So with all of this in mind, I'd like to know, after watching this video, are you gonna go out and get the last minute? Is this worth your time? I think it's kind of a case-by-case -case basis depending on your character. I think if you do have riflemen and you're not a super high level, you can probably do old guns pretty early in the game and get your hands on this Gauss rifle before you're able to find it in the world. You know, in that case, if you have the caps for it, I think it's totally worth it. But anyways, let me know what you all think and also suggest a future weapon for me to cover in another unique weapon guide. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the last minute unique weapon in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.